All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Car Talk. I'm Ryan, joined as always by Tyler and Lou. And today we're going to talk mostly about the summit. Because I'm going back to the summit. I'm here in Vegas for the 2021 Industry Summit. I wanted to uh, pop on here, give Tyler and Lou a little update on that. And then they will take it home with play of the week and maybe some football talk. I don't think much happened this weekend, so nothing too crazy mm. to talk about there. Nah, um, not much. Not much. So, not much huh. Interesting. Nah, not really a whole lot to, to talk about. I don't yeah. think. Light, light week. Light week. Not much happened. Uneventful weekend. It's not what your head coach said, but I don't know. who's two and L in this podcast? Tough. Do what? What do we play? What happened? Me? What I said? Who's, who's doing out in this chat? We. I mean, look, we got Auburn. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'll get ahead we of myself. As a day. life, you can, as a lifelong Georgia Bulldogs fan, we played no one the rest of the year except for Florida, and we're the number two team in the country. We. I'm just saying. Right. Do you remember when this was an all Big Ten crew? Yeah, Sorry, my family decided to make a move and go to the it's SEC. Fair. We're it's an fair. SEC family now. It's fair. It's fair. But they're <laughs> yeah, just I'm not really, I'm not really pure. With that. I mean, look, if there's any team. Listen, you want me to do Michigan? Forget, I can do Michigan. About. I, can, I can do Michigan, no, you too. Want. We're 2-0. and you, you have no interest. You have no interest. 2-0. and all. No, I don't care about Michigan that, at all. Yeah, that squad is terrible. <laughs> all right. No. But, yeah, I was at the game. Uh, it was rather disappointing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was sucks. electric there at the end, but I mean, better to lose early than late. I would think it was a uh, yeah, it just wasn't our week. And hats off to Oregon. I mean, they ran that same stretch left five times, and it it worked every time. It's said Ohio State's defense has given up thirty six plays of ten yards or more through two games. I don't, you know, I'm not a real big. Is it the, the backers or what? I think it's just scheme like 36 plays at 10 yards or more. That's, you know, nobody up front's getting enough pressure to stop the run. You're not getting pressure on the quarterback. I mean, just, there's just corners or yeah, it's, it's a mess right now. I just had complete negative flashbacks. When you say they ran the same play six times, sounds like Ohio state whooping my ass for the last five years. We know what they're going to do. Yeah, it still works every single time. Yeah, so you was, had a little taste of the medicine. Yeah, it was it was unfortunate for sure. Week one NFL. Who are you buying? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Uh, actually, on the flight here was kind of like week one overreaction because you get on mm-hmm. scarred social media and you've got like Jameis Winston's going to the Super Bowl, Kyler's going to the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes is better than Tom Brady. Uh, Jalen Hurts saved the Jalen Hurts saved the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, like you just go yeah, down the Jalen like Hurts superstar on. chatter. I was like, <laughs> it just like it's a little extreme. There's a uh, there's just a lot of like overreactions <clears throat> from week one. So, um, but you did mention famous. Yeah, yeah famous Jameis. I think he might be a guy this year. Didn't he only have like 150 yards passing or something? Well, he had one bomb. No, I think he did, and then he hit the bomb late. Is that what it was? That was, his, I think, for his fifth tutty. What a game it was. What a Sunday football weekend it was. I and enjoyed There's a lot of good football. Uh, there's a lot fun. of good <laughs> Tell me more. I couldn't believe it. The Jets were competitive in the second half. It was unbelievable. The yeah. QB looks real good, boys. I'm just saying. Zach Wilson? Yeah. Need a line. Need a line. Need some offensive talent. And Brian, what's the um, premier product out for rookie QBs right now? So there's not a whole, whole lot out. And then the next product doesn't come out until the sixth. Um, you got black football. You got Donner's football. You got certified football, gold standard football, elite football. Not, not, not. You haven't really got a premier product yet. You're not far from, like, <clears throat> again, I, I would imagine by the end of the year, you'll get one of the prisms or optics, maybe two. Um, we're not we're not far away from those, but, yeah, there's nothing nothing out at the moment. 
um, is kind of downtown, like the hot card for the rookie cues right now? Like, if you were to say, okay, like, all right, wow, I want I, Zach Wilson's going to win three Super Bowls and two MVPs. I need a card right now before he goes for four hundred in the next three weeks. Which, what do you, what, what movie are you making? Or are you just uh, waiting? Gold, or, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm either waiting or I'm buying one of those Panini Black Jumbo Patch Autos. I'm not touching. I'm not touching the Panini the downtown. I get Patch Autos. <clears throat> Yeah, just two thousand dollars for a, a patch, uh, a patch auto of or a, for an insert of Zach Wilson, like the downtown. That's that to me is kind of crazy. I would agree with that. I would agree with that statement, and that's where all. Yeah, 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 it, it, yeah. It's just not. I mean, it's a cool insert. I'm not saying I don't like it. It's just that seems like a yeah. Lot. It's an it's a very aggressive pricing. Right. You have a different background. It's not your plain white. You're in a hotel room. You can yeah. see the sun's just coming up over your right shoulder. Where are you at right now? Yes, What's going on? So we're in Las Vegas. We're at the Industry Summit. Um, took a couple of employees out here and spending three days out here trying to, to learn some different stuff, network, um, hang out, and just kind of see what the next couple of months or next year has in store. What's the programming look like? Like what's kind of outside of just linking with people and whatnot, what's kind of set program that you're hitting? Um, so there's a bunch of different like breakout sessions. So the, so yesterday was the first day. Um, it was Monday. So we got to hear from, um, there was a couple, there was a session about like opening a new card store and, you know, what people have done, had a couple different uh, members on that. And then there was one from Sports Card Investor, uh, Jeff and Kelly did one about like social media, um, like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, basically everything but but YouTube. Kind of talked about some of the analytics there and which ones are fast growing and hashtags and yeah, purpose and things like that. Um, yeah, there's been a, there's so there's been a couple of sessions. Today's definitely the the longest day, the one with the most uh, meat. So that's the one I'm looking forward to the most. There's a session about YouTube. There's a session about building real wealth. There's a session about there's a, there's a couple different ones, so I think today is going to be a, a, a full day. So it's not like a it's not like a cards event. It's like a work thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like a workshop, conference, networking thing. It's interesting. Now, there are people like there's like there's booths set up. There's a couple booths set up, but it's like Fanatics, eBay, Pristine Auction, Wild Card. Um, there's like a street sign one. There's, uh, and it doesn't have the, t- does it have the normal stuff they usually have? Or is it like specific to that event? Um, what do you mean? Like those companies? Yeah. Like is the eBay booth, <laughs> the like, bless you, like, uh, cards it to get, or is it like telling you how to use eBay as a card shop owner or something? Yeah, I think it's more to build relationships with eBay than it is to say, hey, these are cool cards or something like that. That's, yeah, um, that's what I'm wondering. Like Wildcard uh, Wild Card has some some product samples they're showing off. There's That's what a lot of it is. It's like upcoming Ooh, products. Wildcard? Yeah, so it's, it was a product that was around in like the early 90s. They got come, they're coming back now. It's similar to like Leaf. They don't have the licensing on them, but they're, I've ripped a – a box of wild card black before on YouTube. It's kind of a neat concept, low player checklist. They've got a, a couple of NIL deals. So they have Bryce young and Spencer Rattler autos. It's kind of cool. Gotcha. That's cool. So they've got some products. Um, Beckett shield is here for like supplies. Um, yeah, it's, it's meet a lot of people, <clears throat> put in a lot of names to faces and, and just get to learn. That's awesome. Very interesting because it's uh, the I would say the business end of cards doesn't always get like you, there's no there's not really any other place for you guys to like congregate so it's like the one time yeah. a year is it always in Vegas? I don't believe so, but I've never been. Um, so this is the first time I've ever actually been to one in person. Um, so my understanding is is it's not, but I could be a little off on that. Interesting, but yeah, it's it. 
it's like I said, it's it's been super helpful. Like there's stuff you learn about all different aspects of the business from things like social media to running your store to um, yeah, just like a lot of great ideas from people. You know, I'm young in this. There's a lot of people here that have car shops for 20, 30, 40 years. Like mm -hmm. they've really seen like we think we've had ebbs and flows in the market in the last 18 months. These guys have seen real ebbs and flows in the market over 30 years. Um, mm -hmm. So you can learn a lot from somebody that's been in business that long and it's just kind of what I'm trying to do. Have you spoken to people like that? How are they feeling? I, I, I guess also this is probably the one time a year where you can interact with someone who you would not interact with anywhere else. Yeah, I haven't uh, – let me say uh, I have not talked to anyone like that specifically. Um, I've had more conversation honestly with um, – people that I've had interactions with online or people that I admire online um, had a nice conversation with Ryan Barris. I don't know if you know who that is. He, uh, they own Burbank sports cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Ryan's one of the guys that he basically runs a lot of the, the retail store, does a lot of the buying. Um, so got, to, uh, got connected with him. First time I've ever met him. Um, so yeah, just like people like that where you get to, uh, you know, talk and learn different things. Very, very interesting. Um, so what else? What What are we thinking about? Um, the rest of the you NFL season. My mind. Well, can you know I what? give you a quick switch up? Yeah, I'm a little tired because I played in the semifinals Same. and the finals soccer match last night. My body hurts. Okay. We lost okay. in the finals in PKs. I'm devastated. Okay, that's crushing. But did y'all watch any of the U.S. Open tennis? I watched the final yeah. a little bit. Oh, the, the whole finals, tournament right? was out of control. So good. Women's side and men's side. New yeah, stars wasn't... everywhere. And what I'm just what what's going through my mind, Emma Raducanu, who was the first Brit to win since like the mid seventies, eighteen years old, wins three qualifying matches to get into the tournament and doesn't doesn't drop a set. Goes against Layla Fernandez, Canadian. She they was also a long wiped, shot, right? Long shot. All just wiped everyone. Boom. Finals match, Radicano wins. Then on the men's side, Zverev, Medvedev. My point where I'm going with this is net pro got to be foaming at the mouth right now for what, what lies ahead. Net pro. I just think. I can't like, believe look, they're Net pro broke the news on the IG post that they're coming <laughs> back. And now they got a swath of talent to go out and sign. A and um, <laughs> we're not going to go into it, but I just. Yeah, as much as the, the the fanatics thing and the big three licenses, right? Like we talk F1, tennis so much. Like I just still am so um, optimistic and passionate about like all the other things. Like you're sitting here talking about wild card, right? I've got these packs, uh, these Levi's, which has some um, uh, Osaka and Emma Radcliffe or Emma. Not Emma Radcliffe. Emma Chamberlain. Emma Thompson. Thompson and Chamberlain. Chamberlain. One of them. Uh, so yeah, I just in general, as I was thinking about the US Open watching it all, I'm like, I want their cards. And I know that's not going to be a fanatics world. And I do still think there's going to be so much amazingness outside of what's going to happen in the big three sports. I agree. I think uh the the young, the young talent coming into other sports as well, I think is gonna help out a lot because right now it 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 felt like there might have been a, it might have been all like veterans, and so it's good to see some younger guys, younger guys and girls popping up, which is awesome. And I'll just double down on uh, footy, like proper football. I mean, this past weekend was the most ever watched Premier League match. I also watched the Team USA second half. Did you? Last Would they come back? Yep. They, uh, Turned right? it on and that they came nice right thing. back. Not to brag or anything. That's that's my man Lou. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll always have that in the bag. Uh, but Premier League had their most ever watch match this past weekend. Obviously, Cristiano back in Manchester United. But we've got, we're have got we going to go – we're pretty much, what, September, 14, 15 months from World Cup in uh, uh, Qatar. And then and then once that wraps up, in, in 16 months, it's a road to the World Cup in USA. And I think that's going to be – incredibly impactful um how th have there been much ryan like uh, vibes at the summit you know you talk about wild card different products or companies that are kind of popping up obviously so we've we haven't seen really so much occurring but yeah so like that's one of the things today um 
I'm actually getting ready to head over there now, but the, that's one of the things today is like you'll see product showcases. Like Panini's got their product showcase today, so we'll nice. hopefully hear what what what's coming up from Panini and, and stuff down the line. Um, but as that happens, then I'll kind of know more. But no, no real products have popped up or anything like that yet. Um, but that's that's why we're here. But any hey, I'm, I'm digital collectibles chatter? I know you got to go. Yes. Any digital yes, collectibles chatter? Um, not really like NFTs, like specifically. No, I can tell you that I have not heard hardly any NFT talk. Um, mm-hmm. there was there's like a game. It's like I think it's called NBA Flex. It's kind of mm-hmm. cool. Um, it's very interesting. It's got like it's kind of like a board game, like. Settlers of Catan slash Pokemon mixed with like NBA stars. So you use NBA stars to play like a board game, like battle style, similar to Pokemon. It was like, <laughs> there's this like display I, I, where you put, hey, I'll, 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 I'll try man. to see if they can help, help me find this clip of it. It was actually very, very, very cool. I'll see if I can get a video of it today and send it to Jay. Cause it was a, it, it was, it was a pretty unique little thing. Uh, I, it's hard for me to explain, but when yeah. I get this video, I'll send it. I'll send Jay a video today, um, and and see if he. I'm can looking post forward to checking it out. I, Go enjoy the event, uh, Rye. We love you. We'll miss run. you. We'll try to. Goodbye, we'll try Ryan. to keep this show sane while you're gone. We're gonna keep it on. Try to keep it on the rails. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, see you guys. Ryan. Next week. Bye. Um. <clears throat> all right. So. Hello. Do you, hello, Tyler. Uh, what happened in the F1 race this past weekend? Unbelievable race, Monza. Just a, just a, a scene as always. But there was a very, very big crash uh, between Max Verstappen uh, and Lewis. So it was like one two in the in the rankings right now. Um, Ricardo did win. It was phenomenal. We'll get to there. But the thing that happened, the big thing was coming around turn one uh, early in the race. Basically, the way these thing, the way this track specifically works is it's a lot of long stretches to like go super super fast and there's a couple turns right so at the turns is where the action is of like passes and all of that um so basically it's like lewis was coming out of the pit max was coming around the turn and i get they just race really hard max races super super hard lewis races really really hard as well and neither of them wanted to give an inch and they were trying to get around the edge max was trying to overtake lewis and typically, if you feel like you're going to lose the the turn, like Lewis probably could give it up, but he didn't think he would. So he came around the edge and Max hopped up and he actually went like this over his head with his tire. So could have been really, really it. bad. There was a, I guess there was like a recent safety change called a halo to like protect their heads for this exact reason. And that's what ended up happening. So that happened. Um, and then Daniel Ricardo, who was a fan favorite in F1, hasn't won a race in like six or seven years, I think, or something yeah. like that, uh, got the win at Monza. He does so the awesome. old like champion in the shoe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an Australian thing, I think. Big fan of that move. The old yeah, Das boot. It's awesome. I think he calls yeah. them shoeies. <sighs> yeah, it's really A couple of shoeies. <laughs> a couple of shoeies. Um, so yeah, so it was really, really good. It was fun. Nice. I kind of want to rip one of these uh, uh, 501 packs. I haven't ripped any of them. And I'm going to rip one real quick, and then we're going to do Play of the Week. Okay. So while we're talking, how do you want to... Let's see. Do you want to... So these was... It was a a Levi's... Yeah, you're right, because we do audio. Levi's, for their 2021 501 day, which my gut says is May 1st, um, they put together a little pack. Um, Jeff Carvalho, who's a, a great dude, if you don't know him, um, works a lot in just different collaborations, put this set together. And uh, I think they're doing numbers. You want to just check real quick on eBay? What some yeah, of the last stuff's I doing? saw, they were doing like 200 bucks each, I think. I mean, Osaka's had a different kind of year than a lot expected, but let's see. Oh. All right. So. This is what we got first is kind of the you just like oh a checklist card. Two packs. So real quick, as we're getting into it, two yeah. packs sold in July. Uh twenty fifth and the twenty third, six eighty and seven hundred dollars each. Interesting. So we got the checklist card. Stamps. <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing that right now. Um Barbie Ferreira. 
Wait, what? So the only I don't know if this is legit or not. The only sale of a Naomi Osaka patch because there's, there's patch autos in these. Uh huh. The only sale of a Naomi Osaka patch auto got graded by PSA and it sold for sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. Give me it one time. Emma Chamberlain. I wonder if that's legit. Let me see if I can fix this light. My focus is all messed up. Haley Bieber. Haley. Haley Bieber. Jaden Smith. Give me an auto one time. I think there's yeah, there's usually one sort of like insert in everyone. Marcus Rashford. Okay. My guy. Uh, they're all wearing like right now. It's pretty cool. Yep. Yep. There she is. Osaka. Is. And shy. Gilgis. Oh, so you had nothing, no no color. No dice. There. Base okay. life. Yeah, I think they're base I think, life. Yeah, there was like a hot it was like a hot pack, like every couple packs or whatever. All right. Issued five twenty 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 one. I like these. Yeah. These are sweet. All right. Well, exciting stuff. No dice for me. Probably should have dropped that one on eBay. Yeah, what are you going to do? Play of the week, huh? Um, yeah, let's do play of the week. Um, play of the week is brought to you by eBay, your number one stop for all things cards and collectibles. Um, as always, for everyone here who might be new, basically, we don't see these plays at all. Jason, our producer, puts them together the night before um, and we review them. Typically, there's three of us to break ties. So I'm interested to see if we have a little tie situation. We'll see what happens. Um, but the first one, this Jason says, this play of the week is amazing. So many good ones. going to be hard to pick a winner. Okay, we'll see about that. Right. Uh, Interesting. Opening with Paul Volpe, if he might be related to Anthony Volpe, the Yankees prospect. Mm. Um, oh. Bought this Novak Djokovic 2007 ace rookie for 54 Canadian on June 3rd. Graded it in an SGC group sub and got a 9.5. Turned down some offers for 300 and 400 because Djokovic had a chance at this calendar Grand Slam. Sold it right before the U.S. Open final for 985 shipped. This is a great job because yeah, I feel Novak like was just W's like if you're W's, it, and then he managed the risk too of like, I'm not going to wait for him to try to actually win it. I'm going to sell it right before mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the as amazing as Novak's year, arguably best ever. He had the opportunity to go to do some even crazier than the grand slam with the gold medal. But stumbled a little bit short. I was looking at a couple big boys of Novak. Didn't pull the trigger. Sad I didn't. But I love this man. I love the sport. And uh, I like the play. Respect the play, Paul. I can't get into tennis as much as I try. I love tennis. I think it's a beautiful game. Yeah, also, love Paul, tennis. shout out Paul. Paul had a nice Europe, Euro Cup victory. I see the Italian. Oh, the Italians on top. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, oh Paul. Hi, Jay. Also, SGC uh, on that past one, on that previous yep. one. Fielder cards. Um, he said, "Hi guys, love the show. Once my submit my play of the week. A few weeks ago, I was on the hunt for a Max Scherzer rookie card as I knew he was approaching three thousand career Ks. Has been dominant this season and was heading towards the playoffs and a possible deep playoff run with the Dodgers." Found an eBay listing for a 2008 Allen and Ginter PSA 10 that required a $75 minimum bid, and the auction listing ended past 2 a.m. Eastern time on a Thursday, the classic late uh, auction ending. Uh, I placed uh-huh. a bid for 90 bucks, but my minimum bid of 75 ended up winning the auction. So he was I guess he was the only person who bid on it. Uh, mm-hmm. Since buying that card, Scherzer has continued to dominate for LA and recently got his 3,000th career K. I decided to look up comps on my Allen and Ginter card, and sure enough, the prior two sales were over the prior two sales over the last few days were just over 150 plus shipping costs of around $4. So on Monday, September 13th, I decided to list mine slightly under comps at a bin for $149.99 with free shipping. Within a few hours, it had sold and was paid for. Basically doubled my money in three weeks. 75 to 150 There's a, a lot of different things. Double the money, shipping... 13 is 150, 13%. So a little under double. But Allen and Ginter is a product that's grown on me. They just they do a lot of fun awesome. stuff. I think it's awesome. And I think it's a smart play with some of these guys. If you kind of have a hunch of something that's upcoming, you know, we we're so in the moment and the best plays through and through on this podcast are always 
I looked three months ahead. I looked six months ahead. I thought 10 months ahead, you know, and then it came to fruition. Like I do think not, uh, he was not the only person in the Scherzer market, but Scherzer, Allen and Ginter typically isn't the first play. Mm -hmm. But there's like four or five other things that people are going to think of before they think of that rise and tide lifts all boats. Scherzer's going to go up. That's a, uh, that's a good play. I like it. I like going off the path with the, with the A&G. I agree. Big A&G um, guy. Not everything needs to be four or five X. Not everything needs to be outrageous multipliers in three weeks. This is your classic double your money in a month. Like not a lot of things you can do in life where you can double your money in a month. So great job. Beautiful. Here. What were you going to mm. say? I was going to say uh, there's a new iPhone coming out today iPhone announcement. Really? So when you listen to this, it'll be yesterday. Yeah, big Apple, big Apple event today. Didn't even realize that. All right. Um, no name on this one. Interesting. Um, not sure if it's too late for this. Oh, Knox Stanger. Knox Stanger. Top right danger. Oh, top right. My bad. My bad. My bad. Knox Danger. Is it a yeah. Twitter action? Got it. You gotta throw my man a follow, J Jason. Yeah, I agree. Uh not sure Nothing. if it's too late for this week, but here's my play. I'm a huge eleven year old collector. Uh I'm an 11 year old collector and huge Mike Trout fan, and I live in Dallas. I I always wear my Mike Trout jersey to the Dallas card shows. I think I know this person. Uh, at the end of the show on July 17th, the dealer said to me he has a box of Trout cards. I would like to look at them if I would like to look at them. I found a bunch of singles I didn't have, including a 2012 Prism. I bought the Prism for three dollars. The card looked great. I sent it to SGC, and it got a 10. I sold it on eBay for two forty five on August twenty seventh. Three dollars for the card, twenty seven for the grading, thirty dollars all in to make two hundred and fifteen profit over eight x. Let's go! All of this in just over a month. Best part is I've been buying and selling cards for the last year to get my dream card, a twenty eleven Mike a Topps Update Mike Trout BGS nine five. This sale put me over the edge of what I needed to buy it, so now I'm in the market for my dream card. I love the show and Ryan's videos. Thanks, Knox. Let's go, Knox. Knox. <laughs> I mean, do we even need to see any of the other ones? I think we do, just to be fair, but it feels like it's locked with an 11 year old to make an 8x on a card. I mean, first off, look at my man's uh, uh, header image on his Twitter. Yeah. Legend. 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 <laughs> Legend. Second off, the internet is right just now. amazing. This, the, the, the internet just. Yeah, it's wild. The way that this is going to play out, if you think my man Knox isn't going to just dominate life, absolutely dominate life. He just loves the angels, Knox. I'm and on Knox Twitter is, right now. It's the, the funny thing is, Lou, this is what's going through my head. All right, you're Knox. You're 11. Where's 11 put you? Second grade? No. What kind of recess chatter is my man? At? A 13 is like fifth grade or sixth grade. Sixth grade, yeah. You said second grade. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Still, hold on. All right. Sorry, sixth grade. My man's in the lunchroom at sixth grade talking about trout yeah, flips. Th yeah, it went three to 250. He's it's like, unbelievable. <laughs> he's he's probably aside working people for some snacks. Oh, working. killing. Killing. <laughs> Um, what setting aside legend. the fact that he's 11, he's a, he's 11, he's a legend, all that stuff. Either way, three plus 27 for grading to 250 is the most all day thing of all time. Um, and it's part of the reason why SGC has changed itself. In my opinion, they've sustained what well, we didn't get to earlier. And I actually, for, I'm, I'm sad we didn't get to it earlier, but, uh, I forgot SGC announced that they were adjusting their timing for submissions, which was great. Peter's video was, uh, awesome all you can ask for in cards is like transparency and they're gonna do the best they can and like they feel they can't get done in 25 days so they're gonna expand their their mm -hmm. timelines a little bit and if they can keep their ex this expanded timeline they're still fine if it's 25 bucks 30 bucks a grade so yeah i, was excited to see I it. thought it was i thought it was great i thought they've been doing great business there's one thing that irks me generally in the hobby though i'll be i'll be frank is I mean, this is kind of out of Gary's playbook. Like, everyone always feels the need to take shots at PSA. Yeah, that's... It's just kind of like, like, oh, they are the this big bad wolf. I'm like, eh, eh. There's standing always on the shoulders of giants a little bit, you know? Yeah, there's always got to be uh, a big bad wolf in everything. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's just how people are. 
The old big bad wolf. Yeah. And Next. wait, before we go off this one, card yeah. shows, man. Card shows. Yeah. The only way you're getting this card is at a show. Only way you're yeah. getting that card for three bucks is at a show. Yeah. And the other thing I'm going to say is if I ever see Knox Danger at a show, there's no chance I'm giving that kid a deal because he's going to work me over and it's not going to, I'm not going to let it happen. I'm not going to be worked over by an 11 year old. I'm not going to do I'm it. I'm going to do like the, if I see him, just kind of see what he's trying to do and like maybe and then just mimic. move. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, slide. yeah. Like we'll just pick him up. He's 11. Yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> hey, Knox, let me slide in here. My guy. <laughs> He's not 20 pounds, Lou, or in second grade, okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Is that it? Oh, okay. No, All it right. can't be. I think uh, you said the Jack too Attack Man. Oh, my God. James Gandolfini. All right. I got a good play of the week. <laughs> Bought a James Gandolfini Tony Soprano auto from an antique mall, December 2020, for 100 bucks. Just thought it was a cool looking card and was a great show. Uh, Listed on eBay a month ago at fifteen hundred, and it sold for thirteen hundred. Buy it now or best offer the next day or the other day. Was willing to sit on it for a while, but a thirteen x return couldn't pass it up. Um, Jack Attack Man, I recognize you. I know that little your little photo there, so I'm pumped to see you on here. And this is an amazing play. It's good work. It, I mean, legend, super legend. And we got the new show coming out. I think like October one. The, yeah, the movie uh, comes out the, in October. Is it a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. It's on a show, the no. HBO. Yep. What, what's it called? Some. It takes place in uh, Jersey. Something of Newark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. And it is the prequel to Sopranos. It's young. Many, the many saints of Newark. That's what it is. Um. Yeah. So this is. I think this is also a prime example of like how there's room for some. Not. E- I wouldn't even consider this like a pop culture type of card. This is like a. This is. I guess it is, but it's like. Yeah. I would never think to buy a James Gandolfini auto. Leaf. Look at that. Leaf. It's not all about Panini and Tops. I like it. I like the play. Love this play, play. too. Really? All right. Last one. Mm. Is this your play? Jay's play? Oh. (laughs) Uh, Greg Stangle. Nominating myself for Player of the Week. Bought a Matt Stafford 2009 Topps Chrome Refractor P- PSA 9 last October for 60 Bought it because I figured he was a Hall of Famer and wildly undervalued to $60. That was the correct assumption. After last night's SNF game, just flipped it for 800 So 60 to 800 in like six months? Is that what that is? Or longer? October like to October. Months. Last October. A year. Oh, right. It's October now. Oh, 11. 11. That's what? Right. 10 and 8. 10 and 8. Right, 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 um, right. I think this is going to seem cheap later on. I mean, he. I agree. He, he got Shawnee McVay. I mean, <laughs> he might be they dangerous. I think I dogged him on this show. I think I dogged Rye for the Stafford MVP pick, but my man looks happy as can be. He looks great, and for someone who bought it for sixty dollars last October to sell it today for or last week for eight hundred bucks, it is unbelievable. Or eight hundred, yeah, eight hundred dollars. It's unbelievable. Is he of the course, first I guy that like survived? What is the Detroit Lions? The first guy who survived the Detroit. Yeah, I, I think so. Like he was their, he's been their feel... quarterback. He was their quarterback for ten years. Yeah, I guess Galladay was a Lion guy, and now. Yeah, but but like I would have loved to see Calvin like get out of that situation. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So I think there's definitely going to be more opportunities for this car to see some growth this year. But to go from sixty to eight hundred and. To Beautiful flip it thing. after opening day is an amazing thing. All right. I think that was the last one. Let's scroll through them quick. I think we agree on who the winner yeah. is here. Yeah. It's, there's and great plays. I mean, so many great plays. Fielder did great. Paul did yeah, great. Novak, but I think, legend. I think the winner is clearly Knox Danger. Yeah, we got to give it to our boy Knox. Knox Let's Danger. Knox. Congratulations to Knox. Your way. Rats, Knox. I think I call them Knox Danger. Right off the bat. Danger. Uh, Danger. Um, that was a good play of the week, Jay. I want to give you a little love on that. Timely yeah. with the Novak. Gandolfini. I don't think you actually were thinking about the upcoming Sopranos prequel, but I'll give you that. Um, staff. Matty Staff, obviously. Good work. Good work, yeah. Jay. October 1. Um, you knew it. He was dialed. That's a good My job, guy. Jay. Uh, play of the week is brought to you by eBay, your number one stop for all things cards and collectibles. Um, so quick show this week, I think shorter than normal. Mm-hmm. Ryan's out in, L- in uh, Las Vegas. 
wanted to check in with him, make sure we get something Did out this week. Did he not go to the game last night? I was going to kind of give him a little. You're in he, Vegas and you don't end up at Monday Night Football. But, you know, like we know Ryan. Ryan, he That's goes true. to these things and he just locks in. That's fair. Super fair. Um, so I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, yeah. We talk to everyone next week. I think I'm going to do an Instagram Live on Saturday. We'll see. I like it. I What do I have going on? How much? 1.37 p.m. We are Great website. Hiring. Great website. Shout out my man, Supreme Sales. Joining the team. All things cards and collectibles. All right. Uh, we will Peace. see everyone next week. Peace.